Today I'm having a look at a German engineered Bluetooth 2.1 speaker system from Phonet and Vander. It's their Razzo BT. It comes in this great looking box that has plenty of features, specifications and pictures of the product on it. The packaging is quite good. They have a piece of styrofoam at the top, another one at the bottom and everything is individually wrapped. Included is a user's manual warranty information. And by the way, it comes with a standard one year warranty unless you register the product within 30 days and then they'll give you a two year warranty, a sticker, a remote control, you've got some speaker cables, an audio cable, a power adapter, the main control unit, two satellite speakers, and the subwoofer. Now first let's get the features and specifications out of the way, then we'll have a closer look at it, and finally we'll have a listen. It comes with a couple of technologies, one is called Wider FX. It's basically a surround sound technology that will produce broad and extended sound that's great whether you're watching a movie, listening to music, or even gaming. As well, based on this is just incredible whether it's at a low volume or a high volume they have what's called hammer bass and it certainly does hammer now with a lot of these speaker systems you'll find that the housing is usually either plastic or mdf that's not the case here they use hdaa or high density acoustic absorber it's a natural polymer of high density that when combined generates a more rigid and dense material that's of course going to give you you know more accurate efficient sound performance and this subwoofer has a port on the back and that will really increase the bass reflex, especially at low frequencies. Now it comes with a 6.5 inch woofer that is made entirely of lignin fiber. That's a natural polymer. It is very, very durable and lightweight and it allows the driver to optimize performance. Each of these satellite speakers has two drivers. One is a three inch mid range and that one again is made from lignin cane, but the tweeter is half an inch and it's made from polyurethane micro sheet. So that's going to produce fantastic sound there. This is a Bluetooth system, so you can use pretty much any device like a tablet or a smartphone to connect to it as well. It comes with near field communication and any NFC enabled device will be able to pair with it. Has 3.5 millimeter stereo jacks for the input and output and the brains of the system, the control box, which has all kinds of controls as well as inputs and outputs. The power output for the entire system is 72 watts, but the subwoofer is 32 watts and each satellite is 20 watts. The frequency response response is from 30 to 20,000 hertz and as for the subwoofer well again it's made from HDAA which I already went through as well it includes a 6.5 inch woofer that's made from cane lignin and the dimension of the subwoofer is 253 by 253 by 365 millimeters. Oh and the impedance of the subwoofer is 8 ohms. Now as for the satellite size, well they measure in at 253 by 100 by 111 millimeters. They include two drivers, a tweeter and a mid-range. The mid-range is three inches and the material that's made from is cane lignin. The tweeter is half an inch and it's made from polyethylene. And since it has Bluetooth version 2.1 plus EDR, it's going to be a snap to connect this to any device that has Bluetooth functionality. Now let's have a closer look at each of the components. I'll first start with the control box. As you can see, it is quite pretty, very stylish, and the build quality is quite good. You can orientate it vertically like so. There's four rubber feet on the bottom as well. You can orientate it horizontally and they do also have four rubber feet if you want to lay it that way. At the front, you've got a shiny piece as well at the top a mute button, the treble, bass, and volume controls, and at the very bottom front here there are two 3.5 millimeter jacks. One is an auxiliary and the other is for the headphones and they have their logo as well at the bottom. At the back they have two RCA inputs. They're labeling them as PC and auxiliary. Here is where you would connect the satellite speakers the subwoofer, you use the included cables for that. Just go from here into those speakers and you're done. Here's the power switch. 
a fuse, and this is where the power cord gets connected. The satellite speakers look awesome. They have a mesh front, and by the way, this is not removable. Their logo is at the bottom, and by the way, the tweeter is at the top, and the mid-range is at the bottom. At the back, well, they just include the speaker connection cable. Again, you go from the control box into here. And this front facing subwoofer you can see comes with mesh, quite nice. And like the satellites, it has the speaker connection at the back. And this is the port that I was referring to. The remote that this comes with is not too shabby. You've got a power, mute, input, pairing, and reset button. You can increase and decrease the volume, previous, next, play, pause, and you can increase and decrease the treble and bass. On the control box at the very top front is an LED indicating the inputs. You've got PC, auxiliary one, auxiliary two, as well as Bluetooth. And again, you can cycle through these very easily by pressing the volume knob. Now let's go ahead and connect it to my smartphone. First of all, just enable Bluetooth on your device. It will find it, here it is. And it's connected. Okay, now have a listen. That is max volume, max treble, and max bass. If you're in the market for a solid Bluetooth 2.1 channel speaker system, well, this just might be it because considering the price, it is very, very feature rich and performs exceptionally well. The base is solid as well. The satellite's crystal clear and the control box itself gives you lots of input and output options. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.